This week, I wanna talk about security on your G Suite account, and more specifically, two-step verification. Two-step verification is considered one of the only ways to completely secure your account um, or almost completely secure your account from uh, being compromised or hacked. Uh, the most common way that this is done is through phishing, probably receive one of these that looks like a G Suite login or looks like a Hotmail or Yahoo login and they're attempting to get you to, to put your, your details in. Um, and what you're actually doing is giving up your username and password. And so what two-step verification does is it adds an additional layer of security uh, onto your account so that even if someone did gain access to your username and password, they wouldn't in fact be able to gain access to your account. So what I'd like to do today is show you how to set that up on your G Suite account. So without further delay, let's get into it. The first page that I've gone to is the landing page that Google have set up for two-step verification. Now, in order to get to this, I will link to it in the description below, but all I did was search for two-step verification Gmail and it was one of the first pages that came up and it's google.com forward slash landing forward slash two-step. What I like about this page is it's very, very focused on end users rather than administrators. Admins will already be aware of two-step verification and there's, there's lots of uh, support Support documentation out there but what's useful about this page is it goes through in detail what two-step verification is how it works and how it actually protects you as an end user so it's very useful for sharing with your team and um, if you're a manager or, or, or an owner of a small business or sharing uh, amongst your your um, employees to try and get them to, to sign up for the two-step verification you, you can enforce it as an administrator on certain versions of G Suite, but what this allows you to do is to just um, get employees started with the process of actually signing up for it. So for me as an employee, if I click get started now, what it's actually going to do is bring me to the two-step verification page of my actual account, okay? So it's asking me here, would I like to add an additional layer of security in order to keep the bad guys out? So I'm gonna click get started. And that's going to ask me to put in my uh, password for this particular account, Finton at damsontraining.com, which is a, a test account that I, that I use. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to set up a prompt or it's, it's asking me if I'd like to set a prompt on my mobile device. I'm actually getting a prompt on the screen, okay, as long, uh, along with the text message. So now what I can do is I can click yes to this prompt. And on here, I have now uh, gone, gone through the process of almost of setting up two-step verification. It's just asking me to add my mobile number. So I'm gonna add my mobile number and that's just as a backup in case maybe uh, the prompt doesn't work. And in this case, I'm gonna select a text message. I could also choose another backup option, but I'm gonna uh, show you those later on. So I've now added my uh, mobile device and my mobile device now is going to receive a Google verification code. So I've now received a one-time text message code that's been sent to my phone. Okay, so I can now enter this code in, which is what it's asked me to do in order to uh, be allowed to set this, this particular phone up. So I'm gonna enter this one-time code now. I'm gonna click next. And now I have set up two-step verification on my Finton at Downs and Training account. Let's click turn on and we are done. So I've got Google Prompt as my second one and then as my backup, you know, in case something happened, the Google Prompt didn't work or whatever, or my G Gmail um, app didn't, didn't work. Uh, I've also set up text messages as well. Okay, so we've, we've actually set up two-step verification now, but what I'd like to do is to set up the security key. Now security keys, this is what they look like. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna set up a security key. And the security keys are quite an interesting um, piece of kit. It's actually a piece of hardware uh, that you get. There's a, a couple of different companies that, that, that do them, the YubiKey, Google have their own one now, which is called the Titan security key. And it's a physical key that you have to have in order to access your account. So if I make this my primary one, then someone would need my username and password and they would need this physical key. And so um, the idea is that you, you quite literally keep it with your keys, you know, the little, little hole there for, for adding it on. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna go down to some of the alternative methods. We can see that there's backup codes here. 
There's the Authenticator app, which is also quite good and it can be used for authenticating with, with other non-Google accounts as well if they support it and then we've got the security key so i'm going to add the security key here it's letting me know that um uh, i need to have the security key with me make, make sure that the key is with you and that you can connect it to your computer um if you need a, a key contact your administrator is what it's telling me here so i do have the key with me i'm going to click next here now and register it so it's now looking for the security key so i'm going to have to uh, connect it in i have a little add-on here because I've got USB-C. Incidentally, you can buy USB-C versions of these. I just only have a, a USB one standard at the moment. So I'm going to plug it in and you should see it begin to uh, light up there. And now what it's doing is it's asked me to tap the little gold. So I've got to tap this and I've got to allow it. And now it's going to be able to see uh, the security key and it's going to have registered. So you can see it's lighting up now. I think you can see that. Um, and I'm going to give it a little name. So I'm going to call it Finn Downsing Cloud Training. And I'm going to click Done. And so now I have set up two set verification on my account and I have added the security key. So we'll see those listed now uh, up at the top. So when I log in with my username and password, um, if I uh, haven't, this is now a trusted device, but if I was logging in on, a, on another device, I would need my, my security key. And if I didn't have that, I could obviously use my, my phone as a, as, a, as a backup, either the, the text message or the prompt. That's just a very, very quick overview of two-step verification within G Suite and Google and how you can actually set it up yourself. Uh, as I said, there, there is a way for administrators to enforce this across the organization and in uh, G Suite Enterprise, you can also uh, enforce the security keys as well, which is uh, another excellent feature. And I am going to have to look this up, but I believe that the, um, that the statistics on this are that an account, accounts that have the, um, uh, that, that have the physical key set up are somewhere between uh, 98 and 100%. I think it's 100%, but I'm going to have to confirm that. So a very, very interesting uh, device and a fantastic way, as I said, to ensure that your account doesn't get uh, compromised. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments and I will talk to you.